What's up guys, King Bimo TV here. Sorry for the two day hiatus, I had to move. I didn't have internet, now I do. We're gonna do a Chaos Ravnica draft. I have not played with two of the sets, so, but I played with uh, Karlov Manor, so I can tell what's a good pick out of this pack. I think that's good, because I'll kind of have a good base for my deck going into the next two packs. So we're gonna take a Zoni here. Um, I have to kind of remember that not all of these abilities are going to be that relevant with the other picks. So, like, collect evidence is kind of easy to do in this set because there's all these, like, land cycling things and these, these double cards. So, I think a zone is still really good and collect evidence is probably still fine. But you kind of have to think about things like that with chaos uh, drafts or even chaos seals. So, we're going to take a zone. I think it's a great, I mean, it's probably, like, the best rare you could take. Uh, or top three rare you could take in the set. So definitely going to take it here. Um, again, I do not know what to expect with the other two packs, the other sets. Um, it's Ravnica. I'll probably recognize some of the really older cards. But um, other than that, I'm a little worried. So you'll see how that goes. Uh, World Souls Rage is nice. It's a de decent removal spell. It'll also bring lands back. I'm not sure how that's if that's going to be relevant, but it's very easy to splash. So we could definitely be green and then splash black for Azoni or green and splash red for World Souls Rage. Um, I think that's pretty good. If there was like a like a murder or something in this pack, um, maybe I would take that instead. But there's really nothing great that's black or green in this pack. So I think World Souls Rage is the way to go here. So we're going to take it. Uh, long goodbye. Great chalk outline. I think this card's supposed to be okay and limited. I, I haven't loved it, but I'm going to assume it's worse based because of the other two packs that are coming. Uh, Tunnel Tipster is definitely solid, but the whole morph part should be worse in the next two sets. So I think we'll just take a long goodbye. If it can't be countered, it's probably less relevant than it normally is, but it's still a good card, right? Smother was really good for a really long time. So this is just a better version of Smother. It also kills Planeswalkers. Not sure if that's at all relevant, um, but probably not, but maybe. Lightning Helix is obviously super good. Flies from Shadows would be a fine card as well, um, although it's probably worse than normal because the countered part isn't that relevant, but we'll take long goodbye here. Wow. I mean, this, this pack's really good, so I'd be happy to take Topiary Panther or Eavesdropper or Glint Weaver. I don't love Killer Among Us, but we're going to take Hunted Bone Brute here. Really nice card. Um, two to Disguise. Uh, it, when it enters the battlefield, you make the puppies. You don't really do that, right? You want to play it as a morph and then flip it over. When it dies, each opponent loses three life and a 6-2 Menace. Huge threat. Uh, very happy to get this pick four. It's quite surprising. I know black isn't very popular, so that's probably why I'm getting Long Goodbye and Hunted Bone Brute back-to-back. Um, again, nice to see the Glint Weaver here. This is the second Glint Weaver we're passing, so could be relevant. Uh, get a Leg Up is a really nice uh, combat trick. I think it's probably going to be our pick here. Public Thoroughfare wouldn't be the worst, um, but I think Get a Leg Up is pretty good. It's not like World Souls Rage is a card we must splash for, but if it's if we can make it easy to splash for, we'll definitely play it. So, um, yeah, we're going to take Get a Leg Up here. V2 Gazi Inspectors are right. Nothing too exciting. It blocks morphs a lot. Uh, normally, a 2 mana 1 3 reach isn't something that excites me very much in, in other sets. So I would say this is probably one of those cards that's worse um, in this Chaos Draft. But I don't think Ratform Mortipede or Agency Coroner are going to be great. At least they're not normally. So. Um, Hustle and Bustle could be okay, but I think I'll just take the Inspector here as, as a two-drop. Um, pretty strong pack still at pick seven. Vito Gazi Inspector, Unscrupulous Agent, Museum Night Watch is nice, and Gravestone Strider for splashing. Uh, Snore and Gorehound isn't bad either, but I think I'll take Unscrupulous Agent. I think it's a little undervalued in this set. Um, maybe it'll be better. Maybe that'll be one of the better cards in the Chaos Draft. The Chaos Drafts that have less synergy... So a little slower, where I think Unscrupulous Agent slash Rav Rats is uh, even better. So 
Uh, this card looks like we're going to take Topiary Panther. It's good. It helps us um, collect evidence. Not collect evidence, but I guess, yeah, dumb things in the yard for collect evidence. We could also splash with it. Uh, second choice, I'd probably take the, the Black Red Land. The Black Red Ran Land would help us splash uh, the World Souls Rage, but Panther's really nice and also satisfies that. So I'm not a huge fan of um, one mana one ones in Limited. I just feel like, you know, they're they're fine sometimes, but generally speaking, I don't like them. So I'll take Basilica Stalker here. May not even play it. It's not, not a fantastic card or anything, but it's it's fine. Uh... I think we'll take Rackish Scoundrel here. Not very exciting. With Basilica Stalker, kind of fringe playables for us. Tunnel Tips are, again, not as good as normal, but um, pick 11, I'll take it. 12 pick Glint Weaver, happy to have that. It looks like our colors are definitely open. Last pick No More Lies is pretty random. All right, now I have to read all these cards, which is not good. Uh, five mana, five, five, pay three, adapt. Uh, okay, adapt, pay three, put two, two, one counters, uh, gets trample, okay, care weaver, nope, T territorial boar, it's a bear, uh, not great, three mana, three, two, gain two life, not very exciting, blade juggler, this card's okay, right, spectacle, enters the battlefield, deals one damage to you and draw a card, okay, this one's good, blade juggler is okay, 5 mana, 3, 7, Vanilla, uh, Bedevil, Destroy Target, Artifact, Creature, Planeswalker. I mean, this is pretty good. Double black and red, though. Um, yeah, I'm kind of looking at Bedevil a little bit. Do we want to commit to three colors? Yeah, I'll take Bedevil here. Is it Bedevil? Yeah, Bedevil. So we'll, we want to make sure we can fix the red. It looks like we should. there should be dual lands in this set, so um, hopefully we get a chance to do that. Um, this is just like that other land in the other set, uh, if you know what I mean. Plague right, white, we blocked. All right, this is a fine two mana, two one. This is double red, I'm not even going to read it. Hackrobat, nice name, three mana, two three, spectacle, death touch. All right, not super exciting, seems fine. Uh, I'm thinking of Gateway Plaza right now, which isn't fantastic. Enters the battlefield tapped, uh, pay one. It comes into play or sack it. Um, I don't think the red cards are worth playing. This one's okay. Yeah, to me, it's Gateway Plaza or Plague White. Wait, wait, Plague White. But I think we'll take Gateway Plaza here. Let us play our red card. Get to the point. Destroy target creature, scry, scry one. A little expensive. It's nice that's an instant, though. Vindict Vindictive Vampire, 4 mana, 2, 3, and whenever another creature you control dies, 1 damage to each opponent, you gain 1 life. Not very exciting. 3 mana, 3, 2, gain 2 life, not very exciting. Growth Spiral's fine, but not us. To face, no. I mean, I guess we're taking get to the point here. We have 13 playables, 9 creatures. Okay, so we could still take a couple just removal spells here and not creatures. This pack hasn't been amazing for us. Uh, Gruel Guildgate's good. That's that's on color. That's nice. Um, Rubble Flinger, 3 mana, 2, 3 reach. It's okay. Another one of these Brush Riders. Cult Guild Mage. Guild Mage are usually good, right? That's a cool picture. I like the little thing, the puppet. 2 mana, 2, 3. Target player discards a card. Activated Sorcery. Much worse than the Sorcery. 1 damage target opponent or Planeswalker. Okay, this is pretty bad. The, the other, the Rakdos Goblin one is way better. Slime Bind. Dead Revels. No. Destroy Target Land, Scry 2. No. Black Red kind of Signet thing. Savage Smash. Savage Smash is pretty good. I'm going to take the Guild Gate here, though. Savage Smash might be the better choice, but... Uh, Mammoth Spider, 5 mana, 3, 5 Breach. This is... Basically giant growth, but worse. These lockets are probably not playables, right? Pay four. Yeah, we can't do that. Yeah, these don't seem good. Um, nothing playable. Claws. Exiles a card from their graveyard. Uh, all right, this is a cantrip. 
Exile third card from the graveyard, draw a card. Not very exciting. Uh, I mean, maybe we'll play this spider. Not great. Multicolored creatures you control get plus one, plus one. The Genesis. Scuttle Gator, six mana, six, six Defender. Uh, pay eight. That's a lot. Another Mammoth Spider, or my, oh no, it's, yeah, another one. Target opponent sacrifices creature. If you control a creature with four power, four Gator, greater gain four life. Menace, two, one, two mana, one, three Menace. I feel like this is just better than V2 Gazi Inspector. Right? Maybe? More aggressive. Light up the stage is good. I know that one. Three mana, three, three. We can't be blocked by creature tokens. It's not really relevant. Afterlife. Six mana, five, three. Beastmaster. Riot. Plus one, plus one counter or haste. When it attacks, star creature control, plus X, plus O. No one's on the turn where it's, that's its power. That seems okay. Light up the stage is good. I think I'll take this Beastmaster, though. I'm not loving this pack. Uh, volley, destroy target creature with flying. No. Axbane Beast, just a 3 4. Riot Menace. Oh, God, this. I don't know. Is this, is this set really old? It seems like this card's are really bad. Uh, how's our curve looking? Okay, we can handle a 4 mana 3 4. I don't really want to play it, but it fits in our curve right now. Uh, okay, we've seen this pack before. We got a 2 mana 2 2 with some upside or a 3 mana 3 2 gain to life. Tap an untap creature. You can, yeah, I, mean, I don't like that. I don't like any of these. I'm going to take the, the, the bear, I guess. The bear slash boar. Yeah, I don't think we're playing this caretaker. It doesn't seem good. We'll take the guild gate in case we open like a, a mother goose or something like that, which I know isn't in the set. Uh, we're not playing any of these. Rack, Rakdos Locket. Again, I don't think we're playing any of these. All right, that was not a great pack for us. We're at 19 playables, but some of those playables in this pack are pretty loose. All right, we have one more pack. Let's hope we open something good. Mm, it's rare. Two mana undergrowth. This ability checks the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Search your library for a black card in mana value less than or equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Uh, so if I have six creatures in my graveyard, I can get Izoni, that seems pretty tough. Burglar Rat, is that a Ravrat? Okay, it is. That's nice. Erstwhile Trooper, 3 mana, 2 2, discard a creature card. It gets plus 2 plus 2 and trample upon the turn. Oh, God, a 5 mana, 4 5 vanilla. Are we really taking Burglar Rat right now? Uh, red card. Oh, God. Not good, guys. We started off really good, but I think we're taking their rats. Inescapable Blaze, that's fine, but double green. Oh, I hope this is good. Glow Spore Shaman. Enters the battlefield, mill three cards. You may put a land card from your graveyard on top of your library. Two mana, three one, mill. No oh, thanks. One mana, one one, death touch. Uh, Siege Worm's okay, right? Two mana, two, two Vigilance is okay. What's this do? Dies for the one with counter target creature you control. I mean, this card's okay. Curve-wise, we don't have a lot of threes, actually. I think I'm going to take the Siege Worm, though. Could be wrong. Maybe it's the Centipede. Ugh, God, I want, like, give me something good. Like, just one, like, really nice card, please. Deadly Visit. Destroy target creature. Surveil two. Four mana, two, three, enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus X plus O, under city uprising, creatures you control gain depth touch, then target creature control fights, it's not great, guild gate is okay, what's this, four mana, two, two, 
Well, this could be good, right? Four mana two two could be much bigger. Pax favor is okay. I don't know. Deadly visit. Golgari gate. It's too bad this guild gate's in this pack, right? I'm gonna take this lurcher. Yeah, why is the guild gate in the card with playables? Uh, crawl foragers five mana four four inches the battlefield to gain one life for each creature card in your graveyard. Six mana six four enters the battlefield. I mean this card's okay. It's kind of a house. Three mana two two death touch. Not extremely exciting. Guess we could still use a couple more threes. Uh, this seems okay. This this six drop. We have a lot of big drops already though. All right, not a great pack for us. Iron Shell Beetle and just Battlefield the one one counter card creature. This card's fine. Another Lurcher, Creeping Chill, three damage each opponent. You gain three life. When split in the graveyard from your library, you may exile it. I mean that's cool, but all creatures get minus one minus one until end of turn. Surveil two. Mm. I think I'm just going to take the bear here. Oh, God. This, these packs went really bad for us. Bartzen? Bartzen bats? 5 mana, 4, 5. Defender. Sacrifice a creature with Defender. Draw a card. A weird card. Guess we'll take these bats. 1 mana, 1, 1. Death touch. Packs. Pax Favor seems okay, but I don't think we're going to play it. God, what a stinky pack. I feel like the first pack was great, the second pack was not good, and the third pack was somehow worse. Oh, God, here's all these playables again. Oh, no, this is a different pack. Guildgate, Centipede. I feel like although our deck's not great, we're pretty okay on playables. We have a Siege Worm already, right? Yeah, I'll just take the Guild Gate here. So our, our mana should be okay. Right? Or, I mean, not great, but okay. Um, we're, we're not playing any of these. Alright, this Trooper's not good. Discard a creature card? Like, it's so narrow. I'm just going to take the rare. I was going to say the gems, but I'll probably never have four versions of those cards anyway. The Shaman might be okay. If we play enough creatures, like maybe we really will make cards like Lurcher good. Maybe we'll table another Lurcher. I think that's possible. Two Lurchers would be nice. Uh, Undercity Uprising. Okay, no, we don't want that. I'll take another Guild Gate. I hope we get a Lurcher. That would make me feel good. One, two, three, four. Four non-basic lands. So we're at 26 playables. No Lurcher. This card's okay, but... Alright, we did get that Lurcher. Okay. All right, guys, what are we going to do here? Uh, okay, 44 playables. That's not, that's not as bad as we thought. All right, so basically not going to cut any uh, Murders of Carlo Manor cards because I feel like I know those. And they're okay. Rakdos, Trumpeteer. Maybe we'll cut a lot of non-creatures. World Souls Rage. Days. I think the devil stays. This card's not great. Fits in our three drop category though. We don't have much morphs. I think Ratchet Scoundrel should stay. Okay, we have too many four drops. We should cut at least one four drop. I think our, our big guys are all good. All these six and seven drops are good. 
think Mammoth Spider can go. I think this four mana three four can go. There's twenty creatures. That's quite a lot. Um, just second check and see if there's anything on the board worth playing. I don't think so. Our mana base should be good. I'll play both the Rav Rats. They're better together. Mm, I guess it does have Reach, the Inspector. I'm do. I am glad we got two of these uh, lurchers. These could be pretty good late late game. Three mana two two death touch. It's just like we can't play that. That's too bad, right? The bats doesn't seem amazing, but sometimes a flyer is kind of all you need. Territorial boar, creature of power four or greater, enters your battle battlefield. I think that can go. I think that can go. All right, mana base 14, 14, and three. So we're just black green with a little bit of red splash. Three mountains. Probably don't even need that many, but we have seven, eight green sources, nine green sources with the plaza. Seven, eight black sources with the plaza. Five red sources for three red cards. I think I'll cut a mountain and I'll add a swamp. That's, yeah, that's four red sources should be fine. Most of these are cards that I can cast on turn 10 and they're still okay, so... All right, I mean, I don't love it, but we have a Zoni. Anything can happen, right? Gwendol. Gwendol. All right, uh, we got a two lander. We have a two drop. We have a removal spell. We have three morphs, two morphs. I think this is okay. It's not perfect. Um, let's hope we don't get punished here, but one land away from being able to cast our whole hand minus one card so and we don't need green yet although we'll, i'm sure we'll get green early a nice like gate on turn two nice dual land would be awesome that's not it all right we got one more turn one more chance i usually don't keep two landers we got lucky this time now i'm sure there's a two mana counter spell in the format, but I think we'll play the good one first. Alright, cool. So maybe we'll just beat them with these two, these menace creatures. Maybe they'll play a morph here. To play a morph, we're just going to flip and bash. If we draw a land, we could flip and bash and long goodbye. Oh, they're going to regret that one. They're going to, oh, we can cast this, that's fun. Alright. They tap the wrong creature. Maybe we'll just steal a game here. Totally possible. Can't long goodbye that, but we can eavesdrop uh, Bedevil it. I think we cast Bedevil here. Oh, that's a cool animation. We could have played Basilica Stalker to really just go for the win next turn. I'm not sure if it's right. I wouldn't have been the win anyway, actually. Oh, I mess I punted, guys. We just drew the uh, forest for Iron Shell Beetle. All right, I hope that doesn't stab us in the back here. This just becomes a 5-5, a five -five, so... Yeah, that's pretty awkward. I play this, I pump up the bone brute, and we win. So, yeah, that was a that was a that was bad. That was bad. That's okay. So, if we draw a land next turn, we'll have a flyer for this. We'll make this a flyer. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure we win no matter what. Not too many blue green rats. They're at one. So, 
All right, nice. Stole a game with Hunted Bone Brood. We drew the land when we needed to, so that was uh, that was fortunate. We did misplay, but I think that's okay. Not not a big deal. After a quick game two, we play Avo. Avo. Okay, this hand looks pretty good too. So we play Gruel Guildgate. First, maybe we'll do a turn three hunted bone brute. We'll see. That stole the game for us. Avo, what's up? What's up, Avo? On the mole? Okay, we could cast turn two unscrupulous agent if it was beneficial, but it's really not, you know. Or raider. Another creature enters battlefield under your control, gain one life. We will pay. So now we have no mana concerns for the rest of the game. This card's pretty sweet. I like this. Rock Charger. 1 3. When it attacks, target attacking creature, what, without flying, gains flying. Okay, yep. Yeah. Seen that one before. So, yeah, I think we'll play Bone Bird here. So, if they play, okay, they're going aggressive, we'll come right back at them. Let's see. All right, they only have two cards in their hand. Two, three, when it attacks, untap another target creature you control. Okay, that's pretty good. Um... So I think we want to, I think Unscrupulous Agent would be pretty strong here. So I think Unscrupulous Agent and um, flipping over our Bone Brutes, the way to go. Attack them for six. We'll get rid of one of their cards here. A land, okay. So they have the one card in their hand previously, and then whatever they drew. Okay, so they'll give the 10th District Veteran Flyer flying and untap the Rock Charger. That's nice. They didn't untap the Rock Charger. Okay, that was a mistake. I mean, I assume it was a mistake. Inside source, that's good. That's a good way to stop Bone Brute. So I think we're going to hold back Bone Brute now. Oh, that seems good. Wow, that is really good. I feel like we're still okay. All right, so we have that 3-4 and a 4-4. Four, four. Both of those are a little bit pesky. I don't mind trading our Bone Brute into anything, though. The Rock Charger is a problem because it can keep giving things flying, but we do have a decent amount of removal here. Um, we could just have Get to the Point Mana up. Um... Iron Shell Beetle as a 2-2 doesn't do too much for us. V2 Gazi Inspector doesn't do too much for us. Rule Beastmaster as a 3-3 is like okay, but not even great. I think we'll just pass here with get to the point mana up. They drew really well there, right? We got rid of their land and they they played inside source into Loxodon. I mean, I don't know if they drew inside source or Loxodon, but either way, that was very good for them. Yeah, again, Rock Charger is a bit of a problem. So I kind of really want to trade the Bone Brute into something big, like Tensor Veteran or uh, the Loxodon guy. And then we'll feed the yard. We could Vito Gazi Inspector, make a 2-4, put Iron Shell Beetle on Vito Gazi Inspector. Then it's a 3-5. A then they can't really attack with a rock charger anymore. We can kind of stabilize. So
Okay. Is that all they're going to do? I think I'm going to kill the Rock Charger. Because I think they're going to give the 5-3 fl a flyer. I think that's, that's our play here. Now we'll get rid of the land. Oh no, it's Scry. I thought it was Surveil. That's a bummer. Uh, do we want the land? Four, we'll have six mana. I think the land's fine, actually. I don't really know what else we want, so... All right, they're going for it. So we're going to chump block the... Uh... We're going to chump block the 5-3. I'm not sure how relevant the Vigilance is. I think we'll just block the biggest creature here. And we'll take uh, eight. Okay, land. So Vito Gazi Inspector is pretty good, right? It'll be a 2 4, then we'll make it a 3 5 with Iron Shell Beetle. We'll gain some life too, which is great. Uh, six. Because this is a 3-3, three, three, doesn't do too much. Yeah, I think we just uh, pump this up. So they could still attack with Tenter District Hero comfortably. But everything else will die. So they might just use Inside Source again. If they do, we'll just chump lock that. Uh, we could just double block. We could, so this is a sorcery, they can't do this again. We could double block Tensor Hero and go to three. I think that's right. I'm not sure what we want to draw here, but okay, they missed, that's good. All right, so if we if we kill the detective with World Soul's Rage, and they don't draw removal, we're alive. We could also just play Beastmaster as a 3-3 and pass. And we're kind of in the same position. I think we'll play Beastmaster and pass. They'll pump up this again. We can block it. Uh, and we can only do one to anything, World Soul Rage. So we just pass here. We don't want to see another land. Hopefully they drew another land, but we're dead to a removal spell, so we're not in great shape. All right, so we're going to block that. All right, so they don't have an instant. That resolves right away. All right, good. So they drew pretty poorly, which is nice. Uh, I'm not sure how many more detectives they have. I think we'll kill the Orator. Yeah, I mean, really, there shouldn't be too many detectives. Get a leg up is not the best draw, but it's not the worst card either. So they've drawn at least three lands in a row. We're very fortunate for us. Okay, we'll just pass. Oh god. Hexproof, you can't cast non-creature spells. It loses all abilities till end of turn. Any player may activate this ability. 
If a spell or ability the opponent controls caused you to discard this, put it in the battlefield. All right, so it's a six-six hexproof, but I could pay two to make it lose hexproof. So we need a we need a creature here, or a removal spell. Otherwise, we are in trouble. All right, guys, we drew it. We drew a really good one too. That's a great draw. Get a leg up is a lot better now too. Uh, we have to collect evidence four, so boom. So this this uh, doesn't have trample or anything. Get a leg up is way better now. So depending on what they draw, we could probably even start attacking next turn. Flying Vigilance Mentor. All right, get a leg up does give reach, and our spiders have reach. Uh, I think we'll attack with a Zoni. We'll collect evidence four again. And then it does have sacrifice four tokens, surveil two, draw two cards, gain two life. Don't think that's going to be worth it. Wow. Eight. Eight, is that enough? I think we're good, right? This gives plus six, plus six. I think we just won, guys. Mm-hmm. I think we just won, guys. Woo! How about that? Wow, what a game. I mean, we got lucky for sure. They drew three lands in a row when they, they needed to put us away. So, um, yeah, super close, super close, but we got lucky. Lecter, Lecter Hansen. Lecter Hansen. All right, on the play, um, kind of si almost similar to our first hand, right? Two lands I don't usually keep, but we got V2 Gazi Inspector and Unscrupulous Agent. We have things to do. If we draw another land, we have Basilica Stalker. We have our three colors. I think it's reason enough to uh, keep this hand. Okay, I think we'll play the Agent here. And if we just draw another land, we could just kind of win with Bone Brew, like we did uh, game one. Mountain. Got red, white. Oh, we got a Boros deck. Uh, that's a good draw. All right, so this is Mentor. Pay four, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. All right, pretty pretty decent card. We'll play Gateway Plaza, and we'll pass. So Mentor, whenever this creature attacks, put a one-one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. Well, I mean, that's a pretty good hand for them. So hopefully we blow them out with um, get a leg up slash Vito Gazi Inspector next turn. Okay, we'll just play our 1-3 and pass. I think they'll attack comfortably here. The Boros Challenger can get pumped up. Okay, so they're doing that so they can mentor. Now, Sky Knight Legionnaire becomes a 3-3, which is fine for us, because we have Get a Leg Up. So that was really good for us. They took the whole turn to get blown out by a combat trick. So, thank you. Um, we could play Basilica Stalker here. We can play Iron Shell Beetle. Uh, we could play Bone Brute. I think I'll play Basilica Stalker and just pass here. So now if they do attack, they could pump it up, becoming a 3-4, but we win that trade. If they have a combat trick, we're in trouble. But I think let's, uh, let's do it.
Okay, I mean, I'm fine with that trade. Azoni is much better. We got a Burglar Rat. We'll save this so, until they have less cards in their hand. I think we got this game, guys. I know it's early, but... That one combat trick is kind of all we need. Three mana, three theory Mentor. Can't attack or block alone. An Innocent Bystander. Uh, we could Burglar Rat now... Yeah, I think we just burglar rat now. Could wait until they have one card in their hand. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna play Iron Shell Beetle and Vidu Gazi Inspector. We'll play Burglar Rat next turn. Maybe we'll play Burglar Rat and uh and flip our uh, morph. Okay, that's not a very good attack. Creatures you control get plus two plus O until they're turned. Is that what that is? Okay. I mean, I think we got this game. Ah, that's a bummer. So they can play these cards till the end of next turn. So they play Dog Walker next turn, which is pretty good. Burglar Rat now does nothing. Um, so they can attack us next turn. So I think we can. Burglar Rat does nothing, which is unfortunate. I could flip this and hit them for 7, put them to 12, or hit them to 3, they go to 16 and play the bats. I think playing the bats is better. We could surprise them with the uh, burglar a little later. And they may keep a card in their hand if that card costs more than 2. Okay, it does. All right, we're going to Burglar Rat here. It's probably a land, right? Yep, okay. And they're going to flip that until next turn. So they'll have the 3-1 Vigilance and the Bodyguard and Puppies. So we could block the 3-1 and the 3-3, three, three, or double block the 3-1, which will become a 4-2, and then we'll take 5, we go to 3, and then we hit them for 9, I think that's good. Uh, yeah, let's flip this, attack with the bats and the bone brute, and they have to really consider blocking here. The dogs are tapped, which makes a huge difference. They have to double block, so it's not really a good block for them. All right, they're at seven, so we'll see if they, what they draw. If they draw like another Burn Bright, we're in trouble. It look, looks like a really strong deck they have, though. So we'll... Oh, we don't even have to double block the dog walker. We'll just take five and we'll go to three. No instants. I think we win. All right, cool. Yeah, we, we won another game. I did say a couple turns ago, I think we got this. Nice. Seems like a really good deck they had, too. Just like the tempo wasn't there. Maybe because we were on the play. Lol, wait, what? Nice. Nice. Lol, wait, what? All right, uh, another one of these two landers. Uh, I think, think we'll keep it, though. It's not amazing. Iron Shell Beetle, and then nothing else. I'll keep it. We've had we've had some luck with these two landers. Let's uh, keep pushing our luck here. All right, we'll just play a play a bear. So a land here would be pretty huge. Bone Brute, and we'll just pass. I'm not going to attack. I don't want to trade with the Automaton. Triple Mountains, that's good for us. 
Minotaur. 2-3. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, target creature and opponent controls can't block this turn. Okay. Yeah, so we could just flip this guy over and bash for six. That's better than Tunnel Tipster right now, I think. We could attack with the Beetle, too. But I think that shows we have a pump spell. We don't need to show them that. We could save it. If they ca if they cast Shock on Bone Brute right now, we just win. right? We'll cast Get a Leg Off, and we just win. I doubt they're Mono Red. Wintery Goblin attacks or blocks. Does one damage to that creature. Okay, yeah, we saw that one, I think. Okay, take two. All right, now we'll attack with both. I'll be expecting a double block on the Bone Brute. Um, and then we'll cast Get a Leg Up. And then I'll probably cast Basilica Stalker. Okay, man. Yep, that's, that's fine. In hindsight, maybe I should have played them more first. I think it's fine. Wait, what happened? It did one, two, three. Wait. Uh, I messed up, guys. All right, so this is four, four, two, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I messed up. I think if I, if I played the morph, it would have got plus three, plus three, it still would have died. So, yeah, I messed up times five. <laughs> okay, that was really bad. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm not sure. That was a, just a bad play on my part. That did not. I just totally wasted a spell. So that was not cool. Um, this is a nice card to cast. Um, I think they probably used all their red cards in their hand. Let's play bats. Just get over the top. They resolved right away, which is good. They have no instants. If they don't play an island or a forest or whatever here, maybe they are mono red. Okay, we'll just attack with three. We'll go to six. We'll play Beastmaster. We'll go for the kill next turn. So when this attacks, I can give the bats plus three, plus three. They finally got their swamp. It's probably too late. All right, let's go for it. Um, again, I'm expecting something for the bats, but I think we have to go for it nonetheless. Removal on the bats. Okay. They take three. They go to three. We could play this as a... Wow, is this that good right now? It is that good. I like this card. Look at that. 6-6. Six, six. Pretty nice. Uh, yeah, just gonna go, go for the kill, kill their creature. I imagine they'll scoop here, they probably had one removal spell. GG, okay, yeah, again, we, we definitely misplayed, I don't know what I was thinking with the pump spell. Like, if I played the morph and then attacked, like, I still, it still gets, I still trade with them, so I, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking there. It's kind of like, it's almost alarming. I'm so confused at like, what was I thinking? You know, I feel like sometimes I'm like, oh, I missed that. But this was just like, what was I thinking? I attacked with a 6-2 into a 2-1 and a 
I gave it plus two plus two, so it would be a x four into two two ones. If I played the morph before, it would be an x five into two two ones, but one of them pings. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what I was thinking, but I don't know, man. What are you gonna do? Shirney, Shirney. Shirney, Shirney, Shirney. All right, hand looks good. All right, this hand's pretty slow, actually. Maybe it's not good. Let's draw. We need to draw, like, creature, creature, creature. It'd be great. 2-1 has first strike on your turn, right? Yes. I think we'll play the beetle. Don't want to give their creature plus one plus one. Riot. When it attacks, target creature and opponent controls can't block this turn. All right, so they're going to be aggressive like that. Uh, we don't have any red, which is a bummer, and we're missing a three drop. Not great. So we have Beastmaster next turn, which is something. Red Herring. All right, they're pretty aggressive. Mm-hmm. Take six, we go to 12. All right, so I think the plan is Beastmaster next turn. And we'll just pass. We can't race them so far. So... If they attack with Clanger Shaman, then their Clanger Shaman's going to die. They'll probably target the Beastmaster, I'd imagine. Wow! Okay. I mean, I don't think we're going to win this game. We're taking eight. We go to four. We need to draw a mountain to stand a chance. That's not a mountain. All right, just like game one when we blew out our opponent with Haunted Bone Brute, our opponent draws probably pretty close to the nuts, I would think, right? Two drop, three drop. Red Herrings are four drop into Aurelia. Pretty darn good. Second Boros deck we played. So. Subspace. Subspace. Uh, all right, yeah, I mean, looks okay. Not... Not our finest hand. Maybe our Lux ran out with our first, was five games? Are we 4-1? Four, four, I think we're 4-1. All right, that's somehow worse. Uh, mountain, I'm sorry, Swamp Swamp is a good sign. Uh, we need to draw a red source or no lands ever again. Uh, that looks good. What is that? 3-1. That's... I'm almost definitely going to pass, right? 3-1, enters the battlefield, blah, 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 blah. Whenever you surveil, if it's in your graveyard, you may pay 3 life. If you do, return it to your hand. Ooh, that's a nice card. I will attempt to trade. It's cool, like every time you surveil, it comes back, right? All right. They are the gain life deck. The zone is good, but we need some red. Um, we are not going to block if that attacks. No, I guess we will, right? We have uh, get a leg up, so. If they're paying close attention, they probably think I have something, but I don't think they're playing close attention. We'll block. So it didn't resolve right away, so they may have something here. I still think this is worth it. Yeah, I mean, that's I'm okay with that, really. Mill three cards. All right, so now if they pay four, they can get two lands back. They did mill murder. All right, drew a mountain, which is great. Um, I think we're okay. We have a zoning next turn. We have seen one removal, two removal spells already, technically, right? So that's great. Um, do we get to the point one of these? I think we do. 
We have World Souls Rage too, so Scry, get rid of that. We don't want that. All right, way too many lands. All right, is they gonna kill it in response? That's that's the way it seems what they're doing, right? We do like creatures there. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just get to the point because we like creatures. We have some creature synergy. I think they're gonna kill the zombie now. That's the vibe I get. Aftermath analyst, huh? Get two lands back. They go to seven mana in play. I mean, it's not doing too much else, but. Uh, just a removal spell, right? Okay. Alright, no big deal. One spider left. That's a pretty good draw, I think. Is this gonna resolve? Is it just a fight? Yeah. Okay. So one three versus the one one, and I have a removal spell. So I'll, I'll take up Mar position over theirs. So I think. That's a pretty good draw. Uh, all right, we have four, five, six. All right, let's just play our morph and then pass. Uh, I could World Souls Rage, but I'd rather beat them with our morph. Save our World Souls Rage for something else. Could have held the land, but just just let it go. So we're gonna block, flip it, give it indestructible. Which which is pretty cool. They're not even attacking. What a coward. All right, so this is a 3-3 three, three if I play it now. No, it gets plus 3, plus 3, right? It becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. All right, so we play this. We cannot flip the other card. And it's a 5-5. Five, five. I'm going to attack the Burglar Rat. Let's see what you're going to do, buddy. You definitely take this here, right? If, if, if you're the opponent... You're like, okay, why are you attacking the burglar rat? He's at 23. Just take, just take it. You know, like I, there's a reason I'm attacking. So now I have a six six, and you have a five five. I, I win this. You know. How oh, they have another removal spell? Exiles our creature. Okay, all right. World Soul Rage, not an instant. So if we attack and they double block, we would trade. So Let's see what they do here. Enters the battlefield, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. All right, we got a stalemate, guys. If we kill the 5-5, five, five, we attack, and yeah, nothing happens. So just pass. If they play another creature here, we have to kill the Vengeful Creeper. Like, we can't just get overrun here. Yeah, we're getting a little bit overrun now. I think we got to kill the Creeper. They're just drawing a lot of lands. We'll just pass. Go into full controls. I think we have something. Okay, again, go into full control. We play the land. If I wasn't in full control, it would automatically go to combat. We don't, we don't want to do that. We want them to think we have something. So our big win is a Zoni. So that's a 7-7 seven, seven trample. So we need, uh, need to draw something here. That's not it. I think we're dead on board, guys. We block the 7-7, seven, seven. we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
we're not dead on board, but we are dead. We're dead. Hopefully they just attack with the 7-7. Seven, seven. No, they're smarter than that. Uh, yep, we cannot win. We do not have an out. And that is not it. Okay, started off strong. 4-2, I think, or 5-2. It's not over yet. Fat Lady is not sung. 4-2. 4-2. Alright. Acquired Distinctiveness. Okay. I'm not sure I love that name, but I guess it's creative. Alright, looks good. A lot better on the play, but... Isn't isn't all aren't all hands like that? Unless you have spell snare in your hand. Okay, so Guildgate turn one, turn two tunnel tipster, turn three bone brute with tunnel tipster. So that's nice. What is that card? Two mana. Oh, that's a good one. Fertile ground plus draw card. That's nice. That's a nice card. We have two morphs, actually. Look at that. That's fun. Do we bash? Do we bash? Let's bash. Let's bash him. Bash. Bash him. Don't know how many flash creatures there are in this chaos format. Okay. You got it, dude. We'll play Bone Brute, so next turn we can play Tunnel Tipster uh, and Bone Brute. We'll flip flip uh, Bone Brute and play Tunnel Tipster. Eel. 4 mana 3-3, three, three, pay 3. It becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Um, we could play a land here to do Tunnel Tipster and flip this, or we play the Guild Gate. Yeah, I think we want to flip this. And Bash for six. And play the Tipster. So we have five mana next turn anyway, right? Because of the Tipster. And if we draw an untapped land, we have six. Not that we need six. We could we could play Basilica Stalker, but probably more likely maybe long goodbye one of their creatures. Like if they play a creature that we can long goodbye, so we can get him with the Bone Brute again. <coughs> Excuse me, that's probably a play. Uh, okay, that's I was gonna say pretty bad for us, but it really just just a four mana removal spell. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. What's this card do? Silent Dart. Pay four. Does three damage to something. Okay. Not really worried about that. Uh, so five mana. I think we play a Morph. And we could play Guildgate here and attack so they go to ten. Or play Guildgate and the Dugazi Inspector. I don't think that's worth it. Leaving long goodbye doesn't seem particularly worth it right now. So yeah, I think we'll just bash. They go to 10. We have a 2-2. Two -two and a Basilica Stalker, which should be pretty nice. It can be killed by Silent Dart, but they'd have to pay 6 right now to do that. Adapt 3. Each creature you control with a 1-1 one -one counter on has Trample. Yeah, so once we flip this, Silent Dart is online. Which is... No, it's 3 damage to a creature. Never mind. Yeah, so let's go for it. I don't want to attack the 2-2. Two -two. We gain 1, which could be relevant. Uh, Bedevil is good, right? Could kill one of these monster creatures. Yeah, we'll keep it. So, pay 3 becomes a 7-7, seven, seven, pay 3 becomes a 5-5. Five, five. 
Yeah. Now it is trampled too, so it's definitely a threat. So it is our bedeviled target for sure. It also gives the skitter eel trample. Oh no, they're looking at Basilica Stalker. I was gonna say, I hope they don't have a fight spell. They should attack the 332. Loose. We could play Glint Weaver. No, we cannot actually. Never mind. Yeah, I think we bedevil that. We could shaman, mill some cards, pump up the lurker, or we just inspector, gain some life. Adapt is an instant. Glintweaver is toughness, so you know what? I'm going to... I'll play Vito Gazi Inspector. Have him pump himself. Uh, this does make the Lurcher a little worse, but that's okay. Gain some life. We go to 11. Now, we can get killed by the dark right now, so we have to keep that in mind. So if we play Glintweaver next turn. We're really susceptible to the dart if they have four open. Which is kind of a bummer, right? Because it's three to make the eel bigger, and then four to use the dart. So, if they dart now... Okay, so now we can glint weaver next turn. Although, actually, no, we're one mana short now. If we draw land, right? So we only have five mana now. That's unfortunate. Um... We have enough mana for Glow for Shaman. Which should pump Lurcher. Hopefully we don't hit a Zoni. Otherwise we don't care. Just not a Zoni. Alright, so that's fine. It didn't make it bigger though. Do we want to put a land on top? Yeah, I think so. We'll, we'll take a red on top. And we're doing that only to get the 7 mana for Lurcher. So we'll play a 5-5. Five, five. So not not amazing, but it's it's no, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Didn't it just say 3? Doesn't it say 3? Undergrowth is 3. Look at this too. But it says 3. No, it's maybe a bug or something. That's a, that's a little annoying. I mean, I, I don't think it changes the decision I made, but... Cold case cracker, okay. Alright, they're totally tapped out, which is excellent. So we can play Glint Weaver on Lurcher. It'll be a 7-7, seven, seven, which is not great. So we'll end up trading with the Skitter Eel. <clears throat> If we put it on Vitugazi Inspector, then it's a 5-7. Yeah, okay, we, I think we put it on Vitugazi Inspector. We swing out. They can't kill Vitugazi Inspector. I think that's, I think we're good. Just here. Yep, I think that's a GG. Now we swing. They can't double block B2 Gazi Inspector. They go to 2. We go to 18. We have 2 creatures. They have 1. And we have a long goodbye. Which is really rotting in our hand. Oh man, are you serious? Jeez, how, I thought we had him for sure. Ah, there it is. Um, whenever you cast a spell, reveal top X card of your library, X the number of creature cards in your graveyard, you may put a green permanent card from mana X or less among them in the battlefield. Alright, so it didn't trigger. So it's a 5-7 reach. Not that that's bad. Alright, yep, I think, we, uh, I think we got it, guys. Seems hard to lose at this point after a Zoni. The Zoni's good. That's why we're black green. Zoni is really good. I think we've won every game. We no, no, one, one game we lost, actually. Actually. Hannes? You know, now that I have five wins, I'm like, oh, this format's fun. I like this. I could do this format more. 
But it's because I have five wins, right? Really, the draft didn't go so well. Uh, we'll keep. Not amazing, but we'll keep. But then I was thinking about the uh, what the chaos in a box, the that sealed. That was so much fun. I did that like I think I did it eight times. Yeah, I think I did it eight times. That that sealed. That was a lot of fun. I they didn't know like any of the cards. It took me I think no I did six tries. Six tries? I don't know. I won twice though. That was really fun. Um, and the box was great. I mean I love getting that stuff. I. Uh, I sold one box on eBay. I kept the other one for myself. Is World Soul Rage worth it here? How many suspect creatures are there? Oh, I'm going to kill it. I'm, I'm not I'm not excited about it, but I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I was thinking it was just Graveyard. Yeah, clearly... I should know this card. Put X land cards from your hand or graveyard in the battlefield. So we just ramped it, too. So now we have five mana. So that lets us do nothing extra. But I think they're going to kill our Tunnel Tipster. They're eyeing up all our Tunnel Tipster. It would be so nice if we could untap to have get a leg up. Oh, that card's bad, right? I mean, that card's definitely bad. Get a leg up. I think we just pass here. No, we should play Panther, right? We should cycle Panther, get a forest, and then play Lurcher as a 3-3? Three, three? I don't love that. We're also one mana from casting this. We don't really need it, but we're not doing anything. I'm doing it. It feeds the yard. It helps me get to my Siege Worm mana. And that will pass. I don't want to play Lurcher yet. I'd, I'd like to get a leg up mana open just in case I could save one of my creatures. It goes a long way. And if we draw a land, we can cast Siege Worm next turn. Which may not even be great. We haven't seen any removal yet. They could have some removal. Three damage to target opponent. That opponent discards two cards. That, that sucks. Alright, so... Yeah, we'll keep our Siege Worm. Alright, Siege Worm dot deck. They're black-red, so would not be surprised if they have another removal. Carnival and Carnage. Oh, one damage to target creature or Planeswalker. See? 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 I made the right choice, keeping up to get a leg up. I know they didn't cast it, but... I think, uh, I think that was the right choice, clearly. That's a good one. Okay. We'll play or morph. I mean, that was a good draw, right? We're still still casting things. This is definitely one of those games where we want a zony. So that makes it like every other game. And we have quite a few. We could do this one, two, three. Three times we could use a zony. Not that we will ever need that much. Carry an imp. Enter the battlefield, exit target creature card in the graveyard. If you do, gain two life. So Siege Worm probably, right? Siege Worm or Lurcher? Yeah, maybe Lurcher. That's fair. Uh, Burglar Rat. Do we rat here? Do we attack with this? Attacking with this isn't very exciting. And we're one short of playing it and flipping it. I think I'm just going to pass. I'll save the morph as a blocker. They have, they had two cards in their hand. I think I could probably get them to one card in their hand. So the 3-4 carrying imp is definitely a threat. Alright, they have an instant. There was a pause there. But um, let's hope they don't have a lightning bolt here. If not, they probably win.
creatures you control, target creature you control flying gets plus two plus oh. Okay. I mean, yeah, still have a flying concern. That's for sure. They have five in the air with flying. We have like one flying creature. We have plenty of removal, but. Ugh! And we missed out with our burglar rats too. So that was the wrong decision. So we would have got one of these two flyers. So uh, we can't block anything. So we're just going to swing. Uh, I'm going to save the rat in case I can get them. But I, the rat doesn't do anything on the ground right now. So I think we need... Uh, actually, there's quite a few cards we could draw. Izoni, Glint Weaver. Maybe that's it. Vito Gazi Inspector, maybe. All right, there's Glint Weaver. Good draw. All right, so if we cast this, we'll gain six. All right, it's not over yet. We gain six. We go to ten. We can block the three, four, and we're okay. Yeah, not so good game yet, huh, buddy? Yeah, pretty good draw, huh? If they keep that card in their hand, we can burglarize it next turn. Do they just draw a removal spell? No, right? I don't think so. Okay, we'll block the carrying imp. That's it. Did they draw? Did they draw it? Okay, all right, we're almost dead. That is not good enough, guys. Cast this main phase. I mean, they're, they're going to attack, right? I mean, we had a lot of outs, outs just there. Long goodbye. V2 Gazi Inspector. Wow, they have a lot of flyers. They, they, they drew a good one. Yeah, V2 Gazi Inspector, Azoni... I guess that's really it, right? Because now they have two creatures. Yeah, we needed to draw another Glint Weaver there. So it looks like we are going to stop at... Oh, this isn't even a flyer. I thought that was a flyer. No, we're still dead. Right, we're still dead. If uh, that forest was again many different cards we'd be okay but if grandma had wheels she'd be a bicycle so yeah we had a couple different outs there but didn't get it um what did we get five five wins yeah five wins um i think five wins is as good as this deck's gonna get i mean yeah of course we could have done better but um this deck wasn't great we had a zoni that's about it the lurcher was pretty cool. I was happy we tabled the lurchers. I feel like we we drafted really well at that point. Well, I don't think we drafted bad at any point, but we drafted really well at that point. I saw the lurchers. Then I took the shaman thinking, okay, let me mill some cards, hit some creatures, build our deck, kind of be the lurcher deck. Probably could have used like um, a reanimation spell of some sort or even a raised dead type card. But um, yeah, the deck the deck was okay. It wasn't amazing, but the zone is great, so... Hope you guys liked the video. I'll probably do more of these, I guess, because uh, I think people are kind of over um, that set. I forgot the name of already. This one, Karlov Manor. So let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Happy to hear from you guys. And uh, yeah, sorry again, I missed the past two days. Just haven't had internet, just got it. So.